Hello everyone, welcome back to Isa Musa Faltry Farm. If you are new to this channel, please do not forget to subscribe, like, comment and share for other people to benefit from the information we are passing across. And uh, if you have already subscribed my channel, please do not forget to turn on the notification button for more video updates. In today's video, we are going to talk about raising geese and the breed of geese we have in our farm. Geese are probably the favorite farm fowl of anyone who has gotten to know them. They are smart and have amazing memories, great strength and courage. When a goose fair off and mate for life, no divorce is allowed. A remitting by a goose or gander whose partner has died is rare. Of all domesticated animals and birds, Geese are probably the most diverse in the product and services they can provide. That is why they were on many subsistence holding in the past. They are economical to feed and are very hardy as long as they are protected from predators. They can help manage the land, provide useful product for the table, and are worth their weight in gold in sheer entertainment value. If you want to keep geese, do find out about their intrinsic behavior first. Because their natural habit make them a very special bird, people keep them because they love them, and that applies to commercial keepers. Raised well, they are sociable companions. People are often quite unaware of the variety in size, shape, color, temperament, and habit of geese. So whilst running through the reasons for keeping this bird, it is also worth reading about the characteristics of the individual breed before making a choice. Coming back to our farm, we have three types of goose. We have the Emden goose, we have the brown Chinese goose and the white Chinese goose. The Emden goose is a white goose with relatively tight feathering, an erect stand, orange shank, and an orange beak. Most strain of Emden can be sexed on the down color of the gosling, as males are a lighter gray than female. The difference is evident until the gosling are two to three weeks of age. The breed has been relatively popular for many years in both Europe and North America. It is one of the larger breed with male weighing up to 10 kilogram and female up to nine kilogram. It has a moderate egg production producing 40 eggs per year with an egg size of about 170 gram. The Emden goose is suitable for heavy type meat production, but it is probably of more value when used as a male line in the production of a crossbred commercial goose. The white Chinese geese have orange shank, beak and knob, while the brown variety has orange shank, but it is beak and knob are black or very dark green. One feature of the knob is that it can be used for sexing at six to eight weeks of age, if not before. The knob of the male is larger and more pronounced than that of the female. The Chinese goose is relatively small in body size with mature male averaging five kilogram and the female averaging four kilogram. Chinese goose can lay up to 100 eggs in a breeding season from November to April, approximately five months. This report is carried out in our farm at the northern part of Nigeria, in Kano State. Although 50 to 60 eggs is the average a Chinese goose can lay with the weight of about 120 grams. Because the body conformation and meat yield of the Chinese goose is not as good as that of other breeds. It has not been widely used for meat production. 
either as a pure breed or in breeding programs as a female line to produce a crossbred commercial goose. The Chinese goose is reported to be very effective as a guard animal. In addition, it has a strong leg and well required can range over a large distance to forage. Even though Chinese goose can lay up to 100 eggs per breeding season, another goose named Hoyan goose, the Hoyan breed of geese originate from Chantu city in Liaoning province of China. These goose differ from Chinese goose because it can lay more than 200 eggs per year. This Hoyan breed, it began to lay at approximately 240 days of age and it produces between 90 and 210 eggs per laying period with 10% of the geese producing 210 eggs per laying period and the egg weight ranges from 120 to 210 grams. The adult body weight of the male of this Hoyan goose it ranges from between 4 kg to 4.5 kg and that of the female, the body weight range from 3 to 3.5 kg. This breed of Hoyan goose is noted for its ability to make good use of raw fodder and for its resistance to cold and it can lay more than the Chinese goose. Finally, this is coming to the end of today's video. I hope you guys have enjoyed watching the video. Please do subscribe my channel, like, comment, and share for other people to benefit from the information we are passing across. Thank you, as our Chinese goose are taking shower, preparing themselves for this breeding season. Have a good day.